What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, we are being attacked by pretty much the, the last remaining uh, strength the Mughal Empire has to put into the field. So we are going to fight and destroy the garrisons and all the troops nearby, but we're not going to go for the city unless we capture it this turn because I don't really want a border with Persia. Yeah, enemy, there's, there's a number of smaller forces advancing. There's the garrison from the city coming at us. Gurkhas, Camel Nomads, we're going to be a bit mobile. Um, but I think ultimately we're being attacked by the force that was to the southwest of the city. So most of the enemy reinforcements are coming in straight ahead and to the right. Well, at least in theory, that's where they're coming from. But that's the, that's the uh, premise I'm going to operate on. And I am going to try and want to advance and knock out... Uh, these smaller stacks and send them running and running away in order to not let them group together and potentially screw me up. So we're going to create... Okay, so, so the, in theory they should come from here and to the right. So, I mean this is a lovely bit of defensive ground here. Actually that is quite, quite nice. Okay, well, let's set up a bit defensively just to see just to see what we've got to play with first of all especially as the ground in front of my guns can't be charged I'm pretty sure that's yeah, it's impossible give me a couple of musket units in reserve all right well off then I've got an absolute mob of melee troops Plus some cav units. Okay. General up front. Fireball off. Okay, so to the right. Straight ahead of us. Kind of off to one side, but not massively. Nah, it's... Let's deploy... Onto the... Let's deploy out into the plains because the guns can fire over our heads. Let's start to spread out some of our melee troops. Keep the camels wide. Get these camels over here. I'm not anticipating massive problems. Let's get my. I mean, I might push these line infantry out on the right flank which means they might run to catch to get an advanced advantageous position well, you guys are okay to keep bombarding these troops I mean there's two units of Gurkhas and you of dervishes so it's gonna take them a while to get to us yeah oh, I might actually switch the guns to both engage the camel mercenaries. Actually, no. One of you go after the Gurkhas. One of you go after camels. Walking, walking, walking. Where's our... I'm sure I sent you guys to run. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, garrison musketmen. Lots of armed populace. Horsemen... Some misses there. Okay, actually, so when those. Actually, it's probably better. No, you're okay there. Just start running. Same with you guys. You chaps pivot. It's about there. You men advance. It's only so far up they can advance. My native warrior infantry can sit on the flank and hold that for us. Push up my melee troops. I mean, if the horsemen want to charge us, I mean, we are we're getting weird sound effects. Both my guns engage the horsemen. Ooh, great shot. I 
If they look like they're going to charge us. Kizilbashi unit. Looks like they may not break them. So you men fall back. Hindu warriors counter charge. Actually, you guys don't. You may as well not run. You may as well attack. Get my guns to re-engage. Hindu warriors can counter charge into the enemy there. Once we've broken this camel mercenary unit, my Hindu warriors are going to push up the flank. Might bring another unit over here. Counter charge in. Hindu musketeers attack. Hindu musketeers are better than Israeli. Lots of my troops on the right are okay, they can hold for now. The horsemen are aware of what's happening. Gunners engage the horsemen. Get the dervishes over here. Commit the melee troops and just commit my infantry to push the flank. Get my general over here just to provide a bit of support. Push the dervishes straight through. So lots of these are armed populace. And what I want to see is there you go, Islamic swordsmen. You can get the camel mercenaries, Hindu warriors. Keep driving forward. Actually, push my infantry up. Islamic swordsmen cover. I mean, yeah, this whole front's started to break. Hindu warriors charge the garrison musketmen in the rear. If you men can form up and begin engaging, that would be excellent. I mean, my melee troops may actually just keep driving forward. There we go. Push you men in. Push the camels forward. So, so you men attack the camel nomads. You guys are formed square, which isn't really a great idea. Okay, drive my musketeers around towards the Gurkhas. This is going to turn into a solid melee brawl. Not that I have a problem with that. Because my melee troops are pretty significant. Hindu warriors charge the Gurkhas in the rear. Hindu musketeers get out of square and push the Gurkhas as well. Because the Gurkhas are good, but they do they do take damage. Hindu musketeers attack the dervishes. Kizilbashi hit the Gurkhas, get the dervishes over here. Lots of these men are just fleeing. So all of you guys except dervishes just push up form a musket line start to fold some of my melee troops around to the left there you go the Gurkhas might do some damage to us camels hit the 11th where's my other camel unit you men get down here there we go camels are going to charge and hit the Gurkhas so that's the Gurkhas down. You men attack and destroy this Gurkha unit because they're very much within range. It's the camels destroyed as well. Hindu musketeers and Hindu warriors plus dervishes push up to advance here. You men advance to hit the pikemen, but it looks like they're going to break anyway. They're already wavering. Yep. You men just form your musket line and engage the enemy as you like. Gunners engage that duck heel there. You men charge the camels there. You can carry on and attack the Gurkhas, although... Yeah, the Hindu warrior is going to tear the camel mercenaries a new one. You guys charging? You are charging. Okay, let's let my dervishes take the charge. 
Okay, I'm a Hindu warriors to run backwards. The charge has been struck, so now my Hindu warriors can counter charge. My musket troops keep driving forwards. I've got Hindu, I've got some Islamic swordsmen to cover them if they get into trouble. You guys have drawn the folks of the kids of the uh, camels. You men charge in. You men charge in. You guys are okay. Push forward. You men push forward. Let's take these Hindu musketeers and set up a new musket line. You men hold to the rear. I hope my Zimindari pikemen are going to absolutely tear these camel nomads apart. Where's my other camel unit? There it is. Get them out wide. These fellas are going to lose a number of troops running through my line. Musket battle has been joined. New men form up and reload. Hindu warriors hold steady. We can see my camels up in the distance, getting perilously close to the Gurkhas. Oh, I didn't want you to really attack, but let's try... Try give you some support. Hindu warriors countercharge the Gurkhas there. You chaps wrap around. Islamic swordsmen advance up the right flank in case more people show up. General, get over here. Get my pikemen into the centre. Same with my native warrior auxiliary. Yeah, that Gurk unit broke. They've not lost very many men at all. Pursue them and destroy them more bothered about the Gurkhas than anyone else. Push my pikes to the rear. You're not fighting, Hindu musketeers. In you get. Pikemen push in. Yep, yeah, there go the Gurkhas as well. It looks like that's also that's all of their troops. It is. Hurrah! Heroic victory. So that has destroyed, well, done a lot of damage to most, most of their troops around Lahore. 5,600 lost. So you're dead. You've pushed back. You've pushed back. Okay, good. Still got our army near uh, Mysore, which is waiting for a Sikh musketeer unit to redeploy from the north. But really, I do. Well, I want to boost their strength, push and retake Ceylon, and then start to push into the Americas, but I also do want to build a navy. I want to start do some start doing some trading. I want to take Cuba as well. So you, you're my Sikh musketeers. So what have we got? Okay, craft workshop for you. Well, first of all, so you men on the front line, you can be replenished. That's took a good chunk of our cash. First of all, let's get some of our... I want to get everywhere up to cobbled roads at least. So metal, metal, metal. Well, they've all got currently got cobbled. Can get... Well, metalled is next. Cobbled, Nagpur. Eugene needs basic roads. Calcutta's got cobbled roads. Barabad has cobbled roads. Okay, you guys can't upgrade yet, but we're taking Lahore. Okay, 1100. Let's repair our small damaged fleet. And probably drop a little, an extra, whatever we get left into our cot to rebuild or to build a garrison. 12,000 next turn, which is pretty good. Um, our trade is being impacted. It looks like we're block, uh, pressure and the, and the Ottomans are being Blockaded, but that's okay. Yeah, Sweden's blockading Prussia quite conclusively, actually. We're allied with them as well, that's a bit of a bummer. And the Ottomans are being... Ooh. 
they are being attacked by the Prussians. Let's hit N10. Yeah, my agent's on the way up to the school at Calcutta, which takes a while because there's no roads that go exactly where we need them to be. Strong Prussian force advancing on the capital. Let's see if the Ottomans decide to push them away. Did they win? No, they did not. And the garrison has been pushed potentially over the river into Anatolia. Oh, I, bet it's, I hope it's Anatolia. <laughs> no, no, it is. I'm pretty sure it's Anatolia because Mesopotamia. I thought I was missing, mixing, mixing it up with Iraq. Uh, but that's Mesopotamia, I think. But I may, I may have just exposed a ginormous hole in my own um, awareness. But yes, I want to keep pushing against the Mughals and get ready to fortify the front against the Persians, but I want to build up a bit more of a navy. I mean, I'm going to auto-resolve that despite the 50-50, because... Yeah. What was ours? You're going to try and steal our tech. Srinagar is their last bastion. But we will soon take that, and that means we will be able to recruit Gurkhas ourselves. But I must say, I am feeling... Very, very, very pleased with my current setup. It's going to be awkward that the Ottomans have a territory we want, but to be honest, after a certain time point, we are just going to want to cancel trade with the Ottomans and just take the city, take the territory for ourselves. Thuggy, eh? So you will go to Naroon to see what they've got. You've researched a sextant. His partner is. Quite a small school, we'll probably want to upgrade you to college, but then let's also probably upgrade the Thacker's mansion. And maybe the brothel to Pleasure Gardens. Okay, wetlands, brothels, ordnance factory, clearances, rice farms, and a shipyard in Pondicherry, which is great. That's our first military dockyard, I believe. So our cluster of fifths, or well, two of them, can redeploy to Pondicherry. Vengerla, build a sloop to hold the port. New champs can come down to the south. You've nearly got your Siege Musketeers. They've crashed into each other. Keep on running. Because this force is going to land on Ceylon to retake that territory. You guys don't... I don't think you, can, you guys can leave Akbarabad. But you men are going to push out and just destroy Ali Khan and his little happy band. So you guys have a university, don't you? You do. I would like to keep it, but then we've also got, well no, you did, no, we did have one there, but I knocked it down. It will get better, but I think I do want to keep hold of the university in Lahore, as much as it's tempting to knock it down. If we rebuild and upgrade our other buildings, maybe upgrade the body house as well, we can bring more people into the fold. Hindu Musketeers, yes, the garrison of Arcot. Yes, sir. So you're waiting for one more troop. Region capture, that was Punjab we took, wasn't it? It was 14,500 next turn. And I must say, these things are looking pretty good. Our tax income now overtakes our outgoings. We don't have any super ministers. Four stars. Plus one treasury. Minus one. <laughs> okay. So he's... Yeah. No. You're not so great. Let's crank through another end turn. Because right now we... To, be, to, to own all of India and to make such little amounts of cash is, isn't is great. It's promising in the, med in the medium to long term. Absolutely it is because India is a fantastically wealthy country. But right now, we don't necessarily have... Oh, and I've missed... I didn't give the new school the technology to research. So that's a waste of a turn there. Um, but anyway, I want to get my roads built, get my tea plantations, specifically tea plantations, because, you know, I can get... I can get... Um, <laughs> classic. Let's see who joins them. 
Spain broke their alliance with me. Here's a Persia's on the way. See, I really didn't want to be at war with Persia right off the bat, but this is what happens as soon as you come up against a semi-competent um, faction and you share a board with them. They just want to go for you. That's what happens on hard mode, specifically, uh, time and time again. Oh well, we shall meet them on the battlefield and we shall destroy them. They're gonna, it's going to take them a couple of turns to get to Lahore anyway, and by that time our army is going to be replenished. Eastern Scholar in Mysore. Let's probably get you up to Lahore. I oh, know you're that, you, that, that university is going to be broken anyway, so let's get you up to Patna. It's going to take you a few turns. Dhaka in Bengal has been built. You're probably not going to need more happiness. Or will you? What I'm probably going to want is... Let's recruit a brigade of Sikh musketeers back to, with some Sikh warriors. Because when we start sparring with the Persians... Oh my god. We are going to want troops. More troops in the region. I'm probably going to... There you go. Recruit, recruit some more troops here, and then let's do some upgrading. You men converge. You men maybe go to our cot. So, Karnataka, you're exporting all of your tea. This fifth rate can sail over to Mysore, ready to transfer this army to Ceylon. But let's go for a... I mean, craft workshops are usually... Industrial buildings are almost always the best thing to do. But I like the idea of ramping up my tea exports. Even though I am driving the price of tea through the floor, I don't really care. I really like the idea of it. That's the thing. So let's go for a tea warehouse or a spice plant. A spice plantation is probably the better decision, yeah. Makes a bit more cash. Oh, but I also have some roads I can upgrade, and I do like upgrading roads. Three grand gets us some of the smaller plantations to upgrade. Plus farms. Well, Lahore, you might want Ooh, Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Let's go for Raj's Observatory here, because we do have a school, even though it's disabled. Oh, and Islam is growing, which is good. Okay, let's not invest any more in that region. Let's, let's upgrade the Madrasa. Actually, it's probably better just to upgrade farms. Fundamentally, just get them finished. You are not going to be upgraded to a Madrasa. Although you could be. But Islam's already growing. Religious unrest is going down. Got 500. So let's take the sloop out. Get this army aboard. Oh, you're not. You're not. Next turn. Next turn for ye. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe the Ottomans might lose Naroon. To either the British or to um, Persia. Either way, that could be quite good. Yeah, let's not go mad with recruiting. Th Ooh, we can get one more unit this turn. Get a unit of pikes. God love my pikes. They want an alliance with us again, and they're offering military access, and they're offering us money. We may as well go for it, especially as this. They are um, also on the borders of the United Provinces. Hold, Ottomans. Hold until relieved. Yeah, if we take Ceylon, that'll be handy. We can go take Cuba. To be honest, if I can take Ceylon and Cuba, I might try and get a peace with the United Provinces and see if they will go for it after losing two decent territories. 
Oh, there's another Persian army on the way. Yeah, I think we might have to march out of Lahore, which means I'm going to want that army at Akbar. Well, to be honest, I might even use the army at Ahmedabad to the southwest, bring them north and recruit a garrison for that town there. Just in case the Ottomans do lose that territory at Narun. It's the easier one to lose. Well, first of all, we got wedge formation, which is a bit of a waste. You probably want to go for new model bayonet drill. We want to get a great arsenal. And then a gunnery school and an ordnance council to get quick climb. Roads, industry buildings, military academy at Mysore. Good stuff. Okay, so, a Medavad. You may in advance. Because we can leave the city. But just get some troops to steadily be recruited. You men go north, ready to intercept. Then still keep up the trend of investing in the south because it looks like uh, the north. Well, the north is is a is a, going to repeatedly get invaded. Let's maybe go for a spice warehouse. Just grit our teeth and let it make it happen. You men embark. Okay, they've got ships in port, but they have no garrison. Very well. My fifth rate can go up to Pondicherry. My sloop can embark. Do we have naval shore facilities? Not yet. Four turns, and then we can get a dockyard. But I may as well recruit a fifth rate because I need a bit more of a navy than I've already got. Pirates are being pirates. Yeah, if I can use this army to knock out one of these Persian stacks, we can then start to push up and squeeze Kabul. And eventually I do want to take Srinagar. Can you guys... Well, you guys won't be able to leave. Hey, you are able to leave. First of all, though, let's take our weakest Hindu musketeer unit and reinforce everyone else. Take my weakest Hindu warrior unit, reinforce. There's only one unit I can reinforce. So really, I, well, I want to find space for three ranged units. Although, to be honest, it looks like it's going to be... Uh, don't have to worry about the melee units, because they're going to be arriving soon. Their replacements. But I can still take out, realistically, it's going to be mm, tricky choice. I might take out you, you, um, you, you. Filtering some Sikh musketeers. Hey, did I was... And um, was I one? Did I take away one too many? Looks like I did. You men, get back in. You guys, garrison Lahore. You're gonna have to stay here for now until this army from the south gets into the right area. Then you'll go north and take out Srinagar. Hindustan. Okay, you are at full strength. You can also leave Akbarabad. Pretty nicely, actually. So then you guys can. Okay, it's set you guys to drive up towards Srinagar. You guys go more here. Okay, got 16 gold left, which isn't anything, which isn't enough to do anything. So let's hit end turn. I do need to build some more uh, industrial buildings and increase my export base because. We have just added quite a lot of troops to our roster. We do need to take the water. Oh, cool. the Prussians have taken Istanbul. 
So they're probably not going to be able to work out how to cross <laughs> um, over to Ankara. Yeah, there it is, Anatolia. Good, I knew it was. Hmm. But Ankara is now isolated. You have to wonder, will that draw the Russians and Prussians into war if they're not already? This can be part of the problem about not being involved in European wars. I didn't really know who's at war with who until until someone loses. Yeah, the Americas are ripe for the taking. You know what's coming. You're going to wish you never declared war on me, Persia. That's the damn truth. We're going to push in, clear them out, take Afghanistan, continue to drive into the north, take Esfahan, take Zahedan. Uh, the Ottomans, they're, it's a bit uncomfortable having a territory there. How much bide off them? Or attempt to bite off them. Or maybe take territory in the Americas and trade it with them. That could be an idea. I think I'll probably try and do that actually rather than buy it. The AI never really likes to sell territories. So advance within range but not your full movement. You want to still have some semblance of a control zone. Any chance push up to Srinagar. Rice farms, Hindustan, that's not quite what we want. Well, it is what we want, but not just that. Keep rolling out some upgrades. Let's not upgrade you. Well, to be honest, you were going to demand the surrender of Ceylon. And then replenish or repair the buildings. Do you have to be inside the city? Actually, you are. Wait, have you got a I mean, you got a school here? Nope, not anymore. It's going to be a madrasa to try and counteract the impact of this priest, although he is super good. I'm going to need to assassinate him. What I am going to send is a cavalryman down to Colombo. They could well end up trying to blockade us, but that's their prerogative if they so choose. Push you guys further up to Naroon. Everyone's in position. So you guys can take one dervish unit, one Hindu warrior, one dervish unit, one Hindu warrior unit, and that might even be it actually. Push two Sikh warriors up. Hold. Want to see where they go. If those guys try and flank around us, we can mop them up quite quickly because they, they won't be able to move. Yeah, more Dutch raids. Although the navy's pretty. Well, it's pants for now, but they've soon. Yeah. Putting a dry dock. Getting a bit left behind here. And I don't want to rebuild this school because it's so close to the frontier. That army is coming my way, and that fleet's probably sailing to go pick them up. Were I a betting man, that's what I would say the AI is doing. Which means I can. Which means well, it gives me a bit of a deadline to try and uh, build up a bit of a navy, but I am limited based on my research. But that's what the university in Calcutta is probably going to entirely focus on. There's another full stack heading my way. Yeah, they're massing in. They are, they are gathering. The Dark One is gathering all armies to him. Don't worry, so are we. We're three full Mysore stacks around here, matey boy. Uh, and, the, and most of their armies are depleted, so I don't really know what standard they're at either. <laughs> See you later. Focus on strike Ceylon. Not any more than that. Build a madrasa. Just to try and... Was it even worth trying to counter? Maybe. Um. Okay. You guys push up the river. You guys pull back. 
make ready. Let's two seat musketeer units, and then I've maxed out that. I've only got I only get eight. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some reorging. Same with the Sikh warriors. Actually, after a certain point, it looks like I do lose my Hindu musketeers, and I have to go full Kizilbashi musketeers who can't even form square, which means the melee infantry becomes that much more important because I can't rely on my infantry holding their own unless I just don't upgrade all of my military buildings. Although, I must be able to recruit some of them from yeah, our car. I've got infinite supply because I think if I upgrade you to this, you still get Hindu musketeers. So I'll always have Hindu Musketeers, which is handy. I will have a Grand Admiralty. Well, I will have a, a, I do have a slot for a um, naval building upgrade. It did cross my mind. I suddenly thought, hang on a minute, do I have any of the right cities? And it turns out I do. Um, let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Let's upgrade. Ports are also good, even though they don't necessarily directly... Uh, even even if they don't necessarily export more goods, they still do. Oh, actually, you might want to be upgraded to a uh, tavern to help deal with the unhappiness from having the school. We've still got a bit of religious unrest. Then let's upgrade... Get some more tea exports on the go, because I am British. Yeah, you can only become a craft. You can only become a church school. Upgrade you guys to rice farms. Yeah, this is the yeah Bellarian Mysore. Your garrison is slowly being created. Seventeen turns till poor Bandar is ready. But there we go. We've pulled back. Our troops are ready. Our armies are ready for a showdown. Unless they go for Srinagar. Are they at war with another ally with Persia? Well, if you want to bring a contingent to try and help save them, that's up to you. One more turn till we get naval shore facilities. Partners upgraded the college. Let's hit in turn. Naroon is currently empty. Britain is fighting against the pirates, yet yeah. yeah, they're definitely going to ship troops either to Ceylon or to Arkot or Mysore, somewhere. So that's why I'm always going to want to have an army sat back to hold territory. Is that the Russians and the Prussians at war? If it is, that, they could create a European superpower. And to be honest, the general trend is usually... You dominate the world, then attack India. It would be interesting to be an Indian faction having to deal with hordes of European troops. Yep, so you're within range to be attacked from the army to the south. That will dice up one stack, especially as it's just mostly a combination, almost entirely dervishes. Barbary states, see, let's see if they can break through Gibraltar now. They did. Through they go. I wonder what they're going to try and do, though. Eleven hundred. I mean, lots of these plantations. They're not, that, they're not that great. That's a high yield one, actually. That's quite good. Let's just get them upgraded. Let's get... You're quite a good purchase, actually, because you're wealthy. Although, what I'm probably going to want to do is cancel building this meager yield tea plantation to recover some, ca some cash. So we can build us two sloops here. One to guard, one to... One to uh, ship my army overseas and then one you are going to want to cross over to here don't attack yet 
because I want to quickly swap, make sure Patner is going after another naval upgrade. Which can I get the next? That's 3,000. No, that's a bad bet to cancel that. Well, I could cancel that. Naval tech is quite an imperative. It's got 1,700. Which we can spend on replenishing this army. <laughs> it's just a horde of dervishes. We've got two guns, so I'm going to want to bombard the crap out of them and then counter charge with my own, with my own melee infantry to make sure the enemy is destroyed. But then I can probably start my begin my overall advance I'd like to send one army to the bridge towards Afghanistan to cover that because we could they're asking to be slaughtered trying to cross the river so they're an almost exclusively melee based army I am going to want to exploit my advanced firing drills because they have no equivalent So just set up. Uh, where's my guns? Probably gonna want to nick. Wait, hold on. I've deployed this funny. I've stolen units I shouldn't have taken. Oh no, you're okay. Okay, that's fine. I started losing the plot. There we go. No way, I have lost the plot. Yeah. Uh, we haven't got as much as much uh, ranged infantry as I'd like, potentially, so let's maybe drop you here. Make sure my guys are covered. You're deployed, you're on your own. That's not quite so good. Let's probably take you from the left flank, from the right flank, to deploy onto the left. You guys in position. Everyone just make ready. Hey, I do have one spare. Then I got my cavalry and my camels. This is actually quite a, a bit of a frustrating map. Okay, there we go. General. What? They're all going to focus on their guns, which isn't a bad shout for the first volley because that's quite a useful... So any bouncing shots will take out multiple guns. So we have two artillery pieces knocked out from the first Tupu Okagi. But the AI are going to run around and keep... Okay, they've abandoned their gun completely. Well, we knocked out all of their guns. They're all focusing on the third. Yeah, it, it, it appears they quite clearly don't want to... Ah, no, you guys want to come after the guns. My right flank wants to advance. Newman may even want to, yes, canister shot the horsemen. No kills at max range. Canister shots got five of them. A few more musket shots have been fired. They're now broken but not shattered. Switch to round shot. Bombard the enemy dervishes in the distance. They have one gun team with one cannon. It's incredibly well crewed though. Very well. But I'm only speeding up time because the AI has no other moves they can do except rush me. I'm afraid your 
plentiful numbers of skirmish cavalry are not useful here. Meanwhile... Well, they're being a bit smart. Okay, let's redeploy all of this melee infantry here. Let's deploy you two units here. The center can... All right, well, you guys are probably going to stay there. You guys are going to go here. Gun team's preempt already switched to canister shot. Pikeman charge, Islamic swordsman push in. You skirmish the dervishes, get the camels in here. My pikes are running away from the action. Remember, dervishes do not have very good morale statistics. Islamic swordsmen, however, are exceptional. You men attack them. They're shattered. Okay, right. Now the battle lines are meeting each other. Focus on one flank and win and turn the other. Like you men need to go after you guys go after them, you guys go after them. Camel nomads come into the fight. Everyone else turn the right flank. You guys are gonna have to fight the dervishes. Just like you guys are gonna have to fight the dervishes. There you go, commit. My gunners at point blank range. But the Islamic swordsmen have countercharged. Get in here, General. Hindu Musketeers charge. Both of my gun teams switch to round shot. Engage their guns at long range. My horsemen and camels just pick a... Pick an enemy. And mow them down. You men get over here. And support attacking this unit of David. No, you guys keep attacking them. My general's bodyguard get involved charging the dervishes to the rear. They should be upset. General's bodyguard is around here. Maybe I might get you guys to try and set the general's bodyguard. Camels attack the dervishes. You men should break what's going on behind you does potentially leave my general a teensy bit exposed but we're also just knocking them about quite nicely you men chase down that otter you men get over here towards this unit of dervishes. These guys are actually sticking around quite surprisingly well. There we go now. The flank is broken. Cavalry. You keep going after them. Just set the units that are alive to chase down whatever isn't running away, pretty much. You guys go after that altar. You guys go after... Oh, there's a dervish unit all the way over here. Take him down. Yeah, you men go after them. Try to cut off the general's bodyguards. Retreat with my cavalry, but looks like they've accepted they're going to have to fight us. So you men can charge this altar of dervishes. 
There we go. The enemy general has been knocked out. You men are going to mow down the dervishes. That gun team is still alive. Which might actually be a good thing for us. Because it gives us a bit more time to pursue and destroy enemy units. So all of you guys, except for the camels. Except for the... Uh, Elephants, I should say. Withdraw. Yeah, we're going to continue. So then you just pick a unit and chase them down. Pick a unit and chase them down. Just keep everyone busy. Gunners, ceasefire. If you knock out these guys, there's not... Well, I was going to say there's not very many options, actually, but there is. That's the gunners decisively defeated. You men can chip... Actually, you guys can get a good amount. If you pull your finger out. Oh, you're a bit spread out. So let's go for this dervish unit, because you're actually quite close together and ripe for the chopping. All my other cavalry is still active. Okay, let's pick another unit. Actually, you guys both focus on this unit, actually. As you're all here, and their cavalry, well, their units are a bit spread out. Well, I mean, they're not spread out anymore. <laughs> where, where, where? There we go. Pathfinding does improve the more... Seemingly improves the more stuff you... Involve in doing the killing. There's only ten men left. Is that ten there? Some bow fire coming in, but choppity chop. Ah, there's one guy, two guys over here. You sneaky Pete. See if they can destroy them with bow fire. Oh, I almost screwed it. Phew, nice. So that's one arm. That's the army of the south. Annihilated. 459 men remaining. the new men would push up. I want you guys here. Because if I can, if this army can advance straight into me and I can just push them back, that would be excellent. It's even more tempting to push up a few reserves. New men can still position to block and defend Lahore. Good. You're recruiting your ships. Good, everything everything's pretty good, I think. You got you might actually push on to Zahedan to see what the Brits have got, because Naroon is unoccupied. My agent has made it into port. Well into his school rather, not into port. There there's the Dutch army on the way. So the army in Ceylon may actually not get to move just yet. Until Prussia builds a navy, they're not going to be too much of a concern for us. It looks like Prussia may actually be allied with Russia. And they've also taken Athens, it looks like. No, they haven't. They've taken Bulgaria. That's what they've done. They've taken Bulgaria. So we've got some a uh, Prussian-Russian alliance. Looks like the Persians have realised they've been caught out and are now... Uh, Stuck towards the hills of Afghanistan, waiting for us to march up and destroy them. More fool them. If they think that will save them, they are wrong. New model bayonet drill. Good. Uh, keep going down the route, I guess. Increases upkeep but reduces recruitment, which is good because I am planning on just building an absolute crap load of Indian troops. So you've gone back to Kabul. I can't knock you out by taking Kabul because Esfahan is still in the fight. 
But I can fight you guys, I think, without drawing in the Mughal Empire garrison. So you men might go back to Lahore, because I'm going to push these guys north of this crossing here. First of all. Let's get a fit extra note. Another fifth rate being constructed. Let's upgrade some plantations, then hop up to here and upgrade a weaver's cottage because Akbarabad is going to really start to boom when all the industry comes online. But then we want to take you, good sir, to lead the attack against Jamshid bin Khalil. You should call in both these other armies. Oh, only the little one. Very well, we can clean these out first. And um, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the clearing out of Northern India and the advance on Srinagar next turn or next episode. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers everyone.